there are a couple more formulas that are more useful than they are required, but I want to cover them here just to be thorough. The first is the midpoint formula. So imagine for a second that I have two points and they're connected with this segment. So the points are negative three, negative two, and one, five. And I want to know the midpoint of this segment. So I don't, I want to know what is the point right in the middle between those two. The formula for this is as follows. To find the midpoint, which is x, m, y, m, you add up the two x coordinates and divide by two, and then you add the two y coordinates of the points and divide by two. So in this case, we'd have one plus negative three over two, and five plus negative two over two, which would become, this would become a negative two over two is negative one, and then this is three, three halves. So that would be the midpoint of that. Again, doesn't come up much. Sometimes when you have to deal with midpoints on the SAT, you can eyeball them or estimate them, but just in case, that's that formula. Finally, the distance formula. Again, not at all required. Most problems that may require the distance formula you can do with Pythagorean theorem or some other method. But just in case, so the distance between two points, say these two points up here, is equal to the square root of the difference of the two points squared and the difference of the x coordinates or the y, x coordinates and the y coordinates squared. So in this example, if I wanted to find the distance between these two, I would just plug in my points. So distance would be x1 minus x2, so we'll do 1 minus negative 3 squared, and then 5 minus negative 2 squared. So this becomes the this becomes 4 squared, and this is 7 squared, so this is 16 and 49. So long story short, we get the square root of 65, which we can't reduce any further, but that's okay. Again, you can do this with, in theory, the Pythagorean theorem, because note, this is just a right triangle with one side, which would be a difference of 5 and negative 2, which is 7, and another side with a difference of negative 3 to 1, which is 4. And notice, 7 squared plus 4 squared is going to equal this side squared, which you'd have to square root the sum of these guys and basically get to the distance formula. The distance formula is just the Pythagorean theorem rewritten. So don't worry too much about it, but just in case you might need it for a certain problem to make it quicker, uh, that's what it's going to be.